10 Things Every First-Time Dog Owner Should Know Part 2, 5 Things 6. Provide Your Dog With A Healthy Diet Ask your veterinarian for recommendations on the best food for your dog's age, size, and activity level. Keep the following 5 points in mind. 1. Select a high-quality dog food. Look for a dog food that is formulated with high-quality ingredients and that is suitable for your dog's age, size, and activity level. Do not feed your dog any food that has fillers or artificial ingredients. 2. Follow feeding recommendations. Pay attention to the feeding recommendations on the dog food packaging. Since either overfeeding or underfeeding can be harmful to your dog's health. 3. See a vet. If you have any questions regarding the diet or nutrition of your dog, consult a vet. They can advise you on the ideal food for your dog's requirements. 4. While occasionally giving your dog treats is okay, make sure to pick treats that are healthful and suitable for your dog. Give your dog snacks that are low in calories and free of artificial ingredients. 5. Take into account your dog's particular requirements. Each dog is unique, and some may have particular nutritional requirements depending on their age, size, or health concerns. For advice on the ideal food for your dog's specific requirements, speak with a veterinarian. 6. the end of the day, a balanced diet is crucial for preserving your dog's overall health and happiness. You can assist ensure that your dog is getting the nourishment they need to flourish by selecting a high-quality dog food and according to feeding instructions. Seven. Keep your dog up to date on vaccinations and preventative care. This includes heartworm prevention, flea and tick prevention, and regular checkups with your veterinarian. Here are four factors to be considered. One, observe a vaccination schedule. Adhere to the immunization schedule that your veterinarian has advised. This normally consists of both mandatory vaccinations, such as those against rabies and distemper, as well as optional vaccinations. That may be suggested depending on your dog's lifestyle and risk of contracting specific illnesses. 2. Preventive Drug Administration Follow your veterinarian's instructions for administering preventative medications, such as those for heartworm and flea and tick prevention. This can aid in defending your dog against common health risks. 3. Maintain records Keep a record of your dog's preventative care and immunizations, noting the dates they were given and the next time they need to be renewed. By doing this, you can make sure that your dog receives all the required care. 4. Keep up to date. Be careful to keep up with any new advice or suggestions for immunizations and preventative care. Advice on the best course of action for your dog can be obtained from your veterinarian. 5. To conclude, you can help safeguard your dog against common health risks and make sure they get the care they need to be healthy by adhering to a vaccination schedule and giving preventative drugs as instructed. Eggs. Keep your dog safe indoors and outdoors. This includes keeping your dog on a leash when outside, making sure your fence is secure, and keeping toxic substances out of reach. There are a number of factors that may come into play. 1. When you are outside, 
Keep your dog on a leash to help prevent him from escaping or getting into potentially hazardous circumstances. Two. Securing your fence means making sure it is sturdy and tall enough to keep your dog from escaping. Three. Store potentially harmful items out of your dog's reach, such as cleaning supplies and prescription drugs. 4. Exercise cautious while eating human food since some items, such grapes and chocolate, can be poisonous to dogs. Make sure your dog cannot get these foods. 5. Keep your dog's identification up to date. Make sure your dog is wearing a collar and tag with your most up-to-date contact information. And think about having your dog microchipped for further security. 6. To protect your dog's safety while they are outside or interacting with unfamiliar people or animals, keep an eye on them. Seven. Be conscious of your dog's physical limitations and try not to overwork them, particularly in harsh weather conditions. All in all, you can help keep your dog safe and avoid mishaps or injury by adopting these steps. 9. Keep your dog's identification up to date. Make sure your dog has a collar and tag with your current contact information and consider microchipping as an additional layer of protection. Four points are recommended here. 1. Ensure that your dog is wearing a collar and tag. Your dog should always be wearing a collar with a tag that has your name, phone number, and address. 2. Maintain the accuracy of your contact information. If your contact information changes, be sure you update the collar and tag on your dog. 3. Think about microchipping. A little chip is implanted beneath your dog's skin as a permanent form of identification. If your dog gets lost and their collar and tag are not visible, this can offer an extra degree of security. 4. Register your microchip. You make sure that your contact information is stored, be sure to register your dog's microchip with the manufacturer or a national database. 5. In this way, you can improve the likelihood of finding your dog again if you maintain their identifying information current. A current photo of your dog should be kept on hand in case they do go missing. Ten. Get to know your dog's breed-specific characteristics. Every breed is different, and understanding your dog's breed can help you better understand its needs and behaviors. We may have a few items in this list. 1. To learn more about your dog's breed, conduct some research online or speak to a veterinarian or rescue group that specializes in that breed. This might shed light on the past, temperament, and physical qualities of your dog. 2. Observe your dog's behavior. Keep an eye out for your dog's antics with other people and pets. You may have a deeper comprehension of their character and requirements as a result. 3. Consult a veterinarian. If you have any queries or worries concerning the breed-specific traits of your dog, get advice from a veterinarian. Based on the breed and particular requirements of your dog, they may offer direction and advice. With that said, you may better understand your dog's requirements and characteristics and provide your furry friend the finest care by taking the time to learn about the breed of your dog.